Howard Phillips Lovecraft. And today's question comes to us from Miss Dupree, who wants to know how to play Magic the Gathering. Now, I've noted before that your generation is awfully fixated on its own ludological diversions, and it's not very hard to see why. We're living during a golden age of games. There's never before been such a, a rich tapestry of games, of chance and skill, of, of all shapes and sizes. And even still, if the Christians are to be believed, the Romans were throwing dice on Calvary. So you're in classy company there. I know that I myself, from time to time, have waded in and had a few bouts of gaming. Uh, why, uh, you can view me playing the delightful card game Grave Robbers from Outer Space with some friends of the program here. And then, of course, who can forget the time that we played that somewhat homage to my own stories, Arkham Horror. But as for this Magic the Gathering, I, I do believe that sounds familiar. I, I, I think I've a uh, played a few hands, perhaps even won a few rubbers. Let, let, let's see if we can find it. Mr. Kessler's collection is very large and it's hard to keep everything straight. Let, let's go take a look. Ah, here it is. Now the premise of the game is that all the players are dueling wizards and sorcerers, having it out in a sort of magical melee. So the very first thing you'll need to do is decide on your playstyle, essentially what school of magic best represents your personality. Once you've done that, you'll need to mix and match different colors of cards in order to build up your deck. These colors are, are black, blue, green, red, and of course, white. Once you've done that, you'll begin to make up your spell book, or library as it were, and then you'll begin to build it up with various lands in which to draw the magical energies and tap for your vile and nefarious schemes. You'll then use that magic to summon monsters of all terrible sorts and sizes to plague your opponent, or perhaps fill your hand with different artifacts to give you victory. Then you'll be going back and forth, casting spells, doing all sorts of nasty and nefarious things to one another, absolutely being ruthless, but remembering that it's about having a good time, but doing whatever it takes to win. So there you have it. I hope this has been informative as well as entertaining. As always, Snord, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you.